just tell you guys how we got here. A few years ago, I would travel through this beautiful community of yours and I saw an eyesore and it was the golf community, the, the golf club or the golfing course. And when I became a commissioner, Chairman Turner and I met with the owners of this, this um, property and we said, what can we do to assist in taking this off of your hands? So after much negotiations, we decided to purchase a golf course. And because of legalities and what you can do with certain monies from the county, we could not use it as a golf course. So our current COO, who was our former director of Parks and Recs, advised me of some grants through the PATH Foundation. So we partner with them and they were gracious enough to give us a funding along with some splost money to turn this golf course into what we will have as some green space, some trail um, trails for your community. So without further ado, I'm gonna turn the microphone over to Mr. Stanford and he's going to give you an overlay of, of those particulars regarding this property. So Mr. Stanford, thank you. It's a great Clayton County day, right? You know, one of the quotes says, you know, nature is the, is the connector to all things. And um, as Commissioner Rooks alluded to, um, we're very fortunate that we saw a, an idea in, in connection with this community to kind of repurpose the golf course to really work with the PATH Foundation to come forth with this um, trail development. So I'll pick up where the Commissioner left off. Um, so again, we had a couple of community meetings. We wanted to kind of quell some of the concerns with the community about how the, the trail system would work, that it would be inter interconnected. It will serve a greater purpose for this community as it relates to health and wellness, um, give you um, some opportunities for property values to increase, a multitude of things that we felt like was a benefit by creating the trail system itself. So through that action, um, the board was able to ratify the funding. Um, we was able to use SPAS funding to actually do the acquisition of the old golf course. And today we have now a property that's now acquired by you, the taxpayers, and Clayton County. So give yourself a big round of applause because now you're the property owners. Now with that, um, part of the, the, the discussion and next steps, and I know many of you have seen, we've kind of came out and as you can see, we've kind of repaved the parking lot. You know how in disrepair the parking lot was. Our transportation development department came through. We've done some renovations on the building itself so that we can use it for a community building and do some other things with, with the community with our building and maintenance department. And then the next phase that we're in right now is the construction phase. So what we're doing is bidding out the service so that we have a company come in and really develop this three and a half mile trail system throughout the old cart path and if you see the signage to my right um, it kind of gives you kind of a visual as to what that trail system will be um, to include the water property um, property to our south as well as the trail development here now with that being said we probably won't do any groundbreaking sometime until 2016 so please be patient with us on that however um, in the interim we'll ensure that you know there's no vagrants and nobody's breaking in the building and we'll continue to have the, um, the patrol up in a way so therefore, it still keeps the continuity of the community as a whole. So with that, um, again, we're really excited about the partnership with the PATH Foundation. Um, they really provide a lot of in-kind service from the actual um, architect and engineering work. They also um, have done these trails in a lot of communities. If you're familiar with the, um, the trail system in DeKalb County, um, along Panola Mountain and that area, uh, all of us should be familiar with the Silver Comet Trail in Cobb County. Um, again, they're not new to the trail development. Um, process so we're really excited about just the, the, the value associated with the trail with um, the PATH Foundation and the work they're doing with Clayton County. So I'll be remiss if I didn't do two more things. One, give our chairman an opportunity to, to make a few comments but also um, Part of this time frame, I, as Commissioner alluded to, I was the Director of Parks and Recreation, and I really love that seat. That's my passion space, and I've been in that space for a number of years, but I'm also excited about the new opportunities as the Chief Operating Officer for the county. But in the interim, uh, we have a guy that certainly is not lost with the the, added, the, the, the direction of the department that we've done in parks, so i also like to introduce our new interim Director of Parks and Recreation, Mr. Troy Hodges. I, I, I thank you for the applause and um, I know I've met some of you or several of you this morning but if you would if you would like you know I'll be here I'll give you my business card um, you will definitely see you know some improvements down here that you know several of you have already talked about uh, next week 
Um, if you have any questions, concerns about the property, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm fairly knowledgeable of what's uh, to take place and, you know, what most of you would like to see. But I would like to hear from, you know, everybody to let us know the direction that you would like to take this property. Again, like Dietrich said, it's, you know, it's your property. Um, so, you know, take I'm glad everybody has taken a vested interest in it and, you know, look forward to, you know, talking with most of you. All right, thank you, Troy. And now we'll give opportunity then. And I'm sure the chairman will talk about our partnership. Um, Mr. Benson has been phenomenal, even with the process to kind of be the conduit between the community as well as to the board. So we really want to publicly thank you for kind of being the voice um, and helping us bring this to fruition. So thank you, chairman. All right, good afternoon, everyone. You know, as was said earlier, this is a great day for Clayton County, and especially a great day for the Northbridge communities. Commissioner, huh? River's Edge communities, Northbridge Road, all the communities around it, everybody's gonna benefit from this development. Thank you, Commissioner Rooks, for correcting that. At any rate, she got it up absolutely right. This place was eyesore. So I'm just going to be uh, honest with you and come right out and say it. Grass was overgrown. We came up here and expected this building. The windows were broken out. Doors kicked in. It was deplorable. This lady here championed this call. She would not let it go. Give her a round of applause. It's definitely something that was needed. She definitely was a champion for this cause and I appreciate all that she brought even though she was in my ear every day. But hey, it's for a good reason, a good cause and this is a great point that we are at to get this development finally underway. Uh, congratulate y'all, congratulate Clayton County. But at the same time, I wanna make sure that you understand not only is this your property, but you have a vested interest in helping us keep it up right. okay, it's a partnership we have to do this together otherwise we'll be back in the same boat and we're not gonna let that happen because Clayton County is a great county with a lot of great things happening and that's because of people like you so thank you all for what you do I'm getting a lot of credit but I gotta thank the River's Edge the record board the community the office workers all those guys did a great job and have of supporting me so give yourselves a hand um, and Chairman Turner, uh, Mr. Stanford, and Commissioner Rooks, I, I don't have the words to say other than thank you for what y'all have done. It's been a, a couple years, yeah. but it's basically our tax dollars and our hard work is finally paying off for us. And we got a great team. We're going to keep this team going and appreciate y'all and thank you so very much. I'd be remiss if I did not acknowledge Sheriff Hill, who's here. Yeah. And I know I saw Chief Register, Chief Registers here. And let, in, in pointing them out, um, I also want to commend you guys for your strong neighborhood watch down here. You guys are setting the, the honestly, setting the pace for how you do it. Um, and you guys are working with those two entities to make sure that your communities are properly patrolled and you're calling in. And I can't say enough about that. I think you guys probably should hold a course and teach other neighborhoods how to do it because you guys have it down packed. So thank you so much. Mr. Stanford. Yes. Thank you, Commissioner. Uh, there's one other thing. Um, Troy uh, will be working with Lawrence. Uh, and and some of the other community members that um, talk specifically about how we utilize the space in the interim. Um, we're still trying to figure out what might be the highest and best use for the property when it's all said and done. However, we know we have a lot of talent within the community. And so the fact that we can't staff this building right now and we have to go through another budget cycle and we have to figure out how we move funds around. We've had some of the community members to say, hey, listen, we'll be willing to, to kind of do some programming in the facility, uh, make sure it's still being used by the community and there's no greater way of talking about the communal spirit when you know community members are the ones that's helping take care of your public space so I want to commend you again for seeing that as an opportunity um, to try to provide a service back to the community but more importantly um, understanding that um, health and wellness is really important to us especially in the parks and recreation arena uh, we want to ensure that our all of our, our um, communities have places to go and can really feel good about really what's happening overall so to that end um, I, Troy was going to talk about this, um, 
but uh, probably our most important asset within the county itself is our employees. And um, our chairman and our board of commissioners certainly make note of that. And so I want again, uh, they're all not here, but I would like for us to give a round of applause to our transportation development department, building and maintenance, and most importantly, parks and recreation for the work that they've done up to this point in time to get us where we are today. So with no other delay, um, with that being said, I think it's time for the ribbon cutting. I think by opening this facility is really exciting for all of us as far as the residents and I think it's going to generate more people back awareness to our community and I'm just excited and can't wait. It was a long time coming but I thank all those that were involved, especially the commissioner spearheading and making sure that she heard our voice and our concerns. So I'm very happy about it. The ribbon cutting is just an opportunity for us to say, wow, finally. Uh, finally an opportunity for the community to have a space for us to be healthy right within the community to take advantage of what Clayton County is doing for us and that they're partnering with us to make a better space um, we're excited I mean this is an exciting time we've waited a long time for this um, and we're just really excited to see everyone involved so. as a neighborhood we'd always been concerned since the golf course closed what would happen out here you know we were always concerned at, that the there would be someone that want to buy it and develop it in some sort, form or fashion and what those implications would be. So when the county decided and we were able to work it out for the county to purchase it, it was a great day for us. And even now, having a groundbreaking, which means that there are certain funds that are in place to do certain other things for the improvements that are out here. We're excited about that. We know that when uh, this is taken over by the county and is managed by the county that it'll ensure that we have a security, levels of security for us as homeowners. And then the walking trail is just going to make a good place to go and exercise, take the dog for a walk, take the kids riding on a bicycle, things like that. So we're excited about it. So we, we thank Chairman Turner, we thank our commissioners for it, and, and everyone else that has poured it into helping this to be what it is today. When I became a commissioner, it was very important to me to figure out how to help people have higher values of their, their home, especially out here in River's Edge. And when we met Chairman Turner and I met with the owner of the golf course, he said he was willing to sell and we negotiated the sale of that. And after that I said, okay, this is an opportunity to make sure these people have, these wonderful people who have invested so much into their homes or who bought their homes based on an amenity that no longer existed, has something. So that was very important to me as a homeowner, trying to increase their value. And another thing that was happening was a lot of the, ch the children, the truant kids, is using the area as a safe haven for crime and we didn't want that to be um, something they could utilize. Um, they were breaking into homes by sneaking through the golf course that was very heavily wooded so trying to decrease the crime in the neighborhood was very important as well and now it's a beautiful place we are going to maintain it as a county everybody has a vested interest every homeowner not just the ones who live out here but every person in the county so I'm very happy that we've done this I'm excited um, not having been in office for three years that this is a major accomplishment so I'm very pleased about it.